everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be checking out Negative Backrooms Level Exclamation Mark, which is a newly discovered sub-level of the famous Normal Level Exclamation Mark. And it's pretty much the opposite, but in a good way. I think y'all are going to enjoy, so let's get into the explanation, shall we? So Backroom's level negative exclamation mark is classified as a class 3 and is still unsafe and unsecure, but instead of being infested with entities, it's actually got a low entity count. Now this level is named actually the reversed hospital, and it looks like a long blue hallway with bright blue lights in the roof. The hallway itself is around 12 miles long, or 20 kilometers, so it's actually a little longer than level run for your life. But that's not a huge problem, since you don't have terrifying monsters chasing you. Now along both the left and the right sides of the hallway, there are doorways. Most of them are locked, but occasionally you'll run across one that's not locked and it's just open. And if you go in there, you'll see a very liminal looking hospital room. These rooms are said to look just like ones you'd see in real life in a doctor's office or a hospital, and they've got beds and couches and sometimes even TVs, but they actually don't have any medical equipment, which is pretty strange. Now in some of the rooms, there are actually windows on the opposite sides of the wall from the doorway, but it's not recommended to go near those because they could be window entities. So unless you want to get sucked in, don't go near. Now in these rooms, there are some cabinets with a few small supplies like first aid kits and gauze and that kind of thing. But there's also some pretty strange stuff there as well. Specifically, there are weird pills that are in these cabinets and in these containers that aren't like ones from real life. So they're not like Tylenol or anything. They'll be weirdly named and shaped and they'll have strange effects on you if you take them. I don't know why you'd take a random looking pill, but whatever. Some people have said they feel an extra urge to take them, even if they've never taken one of these pills or not, they feel like they should. And on top of that, wanderers who have actually used these pills have never been seen to escape the level and have actually never been seen again. So I would not recommend taking them. Now alongside the med kits in the cabinets, there might also be some almond water or even some liquid pain. And there's even a chance to find cashew water and royal rations. So pretty much as long as you play it cool, you're gonna be fine in these rooms. Just don't drink liquid pain and don't take mystery pills. Now, adult facelings are pretty common on this level, but they don't just wander around randomly like most facelings. They're actually dressed up in doctors and nurses outfits and they walk around kind of like they're in a real hospital. And when they're in this state, they're not dangerous at all. They're literally so docile and friendly that you could probably just punch one of them and they wouldn't do anything, but there's still something dangerous about them. Even when they're being nice, they still try to bring those mystery pills that I just talked about to you. Any person they see, they'll bring these pills to and they'll try to get you to take them. So whatever you do, whatever you gotta do, just ignore them. Do not take them. But these facelings aren't just running around like doctors all day though, because there's actually an event that happens on this level that I'll talk about in a second where it can actually get pretty dangerous. Not as dangerous as the main level exclamation mark, but still pretty deadly. When you first get to this level, you'll get a sense of peace and you'll feel really safe to be honest, like nothing could get you. You'll actually be the only person on this level when you're here, just like the main part of level exclamation mark, because only one person can be here at a time. But the level isn't just sunshine and rainbows, and uh, I'll get into that now. For example, any communications like radios and Wi-Fi and that kind of thing, none of it works here. Like, no technology at all will work in this level. Also, parts of the ceiling are falling down and decaying, and some of the tiles above you could just fall on your head, so watch out for that. But none of that compares to the event that happens here called the blackout, which is pretty much where all the lights randomly shut off. Now, this blackout effect actually happens on other backrooms levels as well, like level 33. It's unknown why it happens, but it could mean that the backrooms are tied to the same power source or something like that. Who knows? We haven't even documented it yet. But anyways, the lights will just randomly shut off and the facelings that were nice earlier will start chasing you and being super aggressive. On top of that, if you're in one of those hospital rooms that I talked about, the door will shut and it'll lock you in there until the blackout ends. 
Outside of the rooms, the facelings will start to become aggressive and start chasing you. And unless you have a flashlight, they won't stop chasing you. That's the only way you can ward them off. Plus, you're gonna need a flashlight if you want to see anything, because when the blackout happens, it's dark. There are also a couple more entities here, uh, but these are rarely seen. But it's still good to note them. There's an occasional skin stealer, even a smiler or a hound can be seen as well, and also the window entities from the rooms. And during the blackout part of this level, those entities also seem to come out of nowhere to chase you. So just be careful and be vigilant and you should be alright. So just like the normal level exclamation mark, there is an exit door at the end of the hallway. So that's where you're gonna wanna go as fast as you can. Don't dilly dally around, don't waste any time, walk the length of the hallway to get to the end. There are other exits, however, like you can no clip into a door to be sent to level exclamation mark, which would be terrible. And sometimes you can no clip through the floor itself to be sent to level 11, which is a pretty good way to go, to be honest. Now, if you go through the exit door at the end of the hallway, you'll just be sent to a random level. However, most people have claimed that you'll be sent to only a safe level. That's not confirmed, but that's what people think. Now, to enter this level, there's a chance you can go through the exit door on the regular level exclamation mark to be sent here, or you can run saveme.exe on a computer in the inn's library to be sent here. So yeah, this is a blue light hospital hallway type area that's pretty safe until all the lights go out and entities start chasing you. It's like a slightly more safe version of the normal level exclamation mark with its own unique dangers like the random medicine, and the face lanes, and the window entities. Pretty cool. Let me know what you thought of it down below. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what levels you want me to go over, and leave a comment telling me which ones you'd like to see. And if you are down there commenting, go ahead and comment exclamation mark brugly exclamation mark so I know that you watched the end. And if you did that, I'll throw a heart at your comment like always. As a thank you to you. Also, check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly. Now, Toogly is where I upload and stream all the time. I get reaction videos up there, gaming videos up there, VODs up there. It's a great time. And Spoogly is where I upload more creepy SCP stuff and internet mystery type of things. So if you want more creepy stuff from me, you'll love Spoogly. Thank you so much for your support. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for supporting the Brugly channel and all my channels. And thank you for supporting me. Thank you so much, everybody. And I'll see you later. Peace.